to it now. Yeah. It always actually seems to be on YouTube. Only if the footage is good. Getting, uh -oh. getting, getting close. <laughs> As the application is starting, it's to flash up. It's black right now. What it's doing is it's getting data from the internet for the Yahoo map. Yep. If I double tap, it pulls the orb over towards me. I can then change the zoom level and go out or uh, come back in. And if I lose anything, then I can just go and reset the map and it just goes back to the original thing. I can change it to, uh, let's see, just a satellite on its own. We'll go to road map. As you can see, it's nice and clear. Yeah, it's awesome. And then I can actually, once I grab an image, I can just right. zoom and rotate. And then you have your info box, which you can um, tap on. And that's basically here is the title that whoever uploaded this put yep. in the Flickr account. Perfect. So in order to get rid of this kind of stuff, you just got to go in and edit your Flickr account. Yep. All right. So, um, so it's got the author, a copyright, it's also got the title and description, and there's a secondary title. And then just close it to get rid of it. And you can have as many open as you want, and if you don't touch it for a while, they'll just automatically close themselves. Okay. Okay. So how would you describe this to someone coming to the Science Center? What do they do? Do they have to upload to Flickr before they come, or um, how does that work? It's a public group. Anyone can join. Oh, wow. okay. This somewhere in Toronto is actually a Flickr user. Okay, so if I wanted to upload my Flickr pictures here, how would I do it? Uh, you would go to flickr.com slash uh, innovation to. If you join that group, you can upload geotagged uh, Flickr images. Uh, so images with uh, map data in them. So you, you basically uh, when you upload an image to Flickr, you have the option to, um, to, to then place that image on a map. Once that image is placed on a map, you can add it to our group uh, by joining the group and adding the image. So what area is this map? What do you focus on? Well, this is through Toronto and the Golden Horseshoe, basically. So you're looking for specific content here? like. Uh, we are looking for any examples of innovation or innovators in, in Toronto. I mean, it can be as simple as something like, like this, which is really um, rack to, to lock your bike to. These are objects that, that uh, are actually housed in the uh, structure behind you, which is the, the Royal Ontario Museum. And uh, they're, they're just parts of the, the collection at, at the ROM. So thought that was kind of neat, so we added it to the group. So we're looking at pictures of innovative things in Toronto, and this looks really wild. And, and I want to show this to my friend who's on the other side of the table. Wow! Isn't <laughs> that just too nifty for that. words? That's wicked sweet. That's I want to know more. And you can say, I want the horizon. Press the I box. Press the I box, and, and it says, we're finding out about well, I can't read it upside down, so I'm going to take it back so I can read it. Okay, this is first large scale wind turbine in North America. And it's right here. Now, here's something that you may not know. Toronto is the home of Padlam. Yes, it is. 